Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number six of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got 64 fourth graders, 86 fifth graders signed up for activities on a field day. All the students will be grouped into six teams with the same number of students on each team. So we need a strip diagram that represents S the number of students on each team. Okay, so let's try to solve it ourselves and then let's see what each of these strip diagrams represents for us. We're gonna use this graph draw feature, hit the diagonal arrows, I like to increase my transparency. And the nice thing about this is I can still kind of scroll, though if I draw all over this, it's gonna just, it's gonna shift. So I have to be careful with that. So there are 64 fourth graders and 86 fifth graders. All the students will be grouped into six teams. Okay, so all the students will be grouped into six teams. Look at this, the same number of students on each team. Okay, so when you see that, you should get a little alert that says equal groups, equal groups, equal groups. Whenever you see anything that says the same number on each team or the same number in each group, or there's going to be six in each group, they give you the number in each group. Equal groups lets us know that we need to multiply or we need to divide. Possibly both. So which strip diagram represents the number of students on each team? Okay, well, how many teams are there? There are six teams. All right, so I'm just going to put some boxes here. And I've got six boxes, and I need to put the same number in each. Uh, so how many kids do we have? Okay, we've got 64 and 86, and I guess they're playing together. So I don't think we have a fourth grade team or fifth grade team. All of the students will be grouped together. Okay, so we just need to put them together. 64, 86, that's 10. All right, so I've got 150 kiddos and I just need to divide them equally into six teams. All right, so let's see if I were to do that. We're going to divide here. We could do this. We could do six groups of what of my unknown here equals 150. Let's see if I can get that to right. But I don't know my sixes that high, so that's why I'm choosing to divide. Six goes into 15 twice, and that's 12. Bring it down, 30, yeah, 25, okay no remainder. So six groups of 25 would work. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, yep, 150. Now, which of these strip diagrams best represent that? You see how the, the drawing kind of stays the same as I'm scrolling here. So let's kind of get all four options on there. We'll just kind of ignore what we see up there. I'll switch to blue. All right, so I've got my total of 150, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This looks like 150 divided by six. That's exactly what I just did. I like A. This is, now remember, we're trying to find S. S is the number of students on each team, right? So this would work. If we did, you know, sets of 25, 25, 25, and so on. This is how much kids are there. 64 plus 86, that's going to get you 150, but there's not 150 kids on each team. So no on B. Whoa, it's 115 and 64. Now we're at 214. There's not 214 kids per team. O and D has got six groups, but it's only got the 86, which is just one of these sets. 86, it's just the fifth graders, not the fourth graders. All right, so the one that makes the most sense for us here is A.